What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we have an animal, a Komodo dragon. So, I'm on landscape paper. Use a pencil and an eraser. Hit pause if I go too fast. I want to move my hand and stuff like that. So we're kind of close up on his face. Do like the close-ups. If you want to see full body, let me know. Hasn't been much demand. I like the to get extra detail kind of on the face. Is that just me? Maybe it's just me. So, um, where to begin? So... I guess we'll start with his eye, right? So center point of my page about here, just come up. His head is like here, and we have some of his back going down this way, let's say. So we'll go real big eye. Right, so we'll go up and around. Curved line like so. We'll bring it down the bottom. Up to a kind of point here in the front. So it kind of looks like a lemon or what would you say an almond or some that kind of shape right and then we can see his iris right so it's like a big black eye so he's a real freaky looking creature so i always think like dead shark eyes you know right? can't see a pupil it's real dark so what we do is we leave a highlight you could also Color it all dark and then put white paint or you know tipex this kind of stuff we, in ireland it's called tipex i know it's called different things in different places but you could put that on top you know so so Not bad, right? So then, top eyelid line, bottom eyelid line, right? Depending on how much detail you want to give, you can make it like extra wrinkly, you know, if you're, if you love that extra detail, texture and things. I do. <laughs> so then, he's got like bags underneath his eyes. Most lizards do. Yeah, they have these extra sort of wrinkles and things coming around their eye. And we're going to make them sort of frowning a bit. So we're going to go give them a sort of a frowny area. Like a brow that comes down around. Like so. Right. So just this sort of texture line that'll come down around his forehead. It's kind of it's kind of like a an, an eyebrow that you know, we would have, right? So it'll just go across here, maybe around like so. You can give him some extra wrinkles and stuff coming around us. And then his nose, right? So this will sort of come out the top here, bumping every now and then. Uh, so. Right, what do we got? So then his snout, right? So we'll go this way. And it comes up and around and down, right? right? So this is like his nose, right? So his nostril on the other side will be kind of this sort of teardrop kind of shape. Just here, it's just a hole in his face, right? <laughs> just here. And then we got texture coming around like that. And some lines back this way, just for his mouth. And then his top lip kind of sticks out here. Right? So he's got this sort of upward gaze, his chin sort of sticking up in the air. And then it'll go down around this way, right? So, his his top lip and bottom lip right so we're gonna draw that so separate this right so this top lip goes in behind underneath his chin and then we'll go around down kind of looks like he's smiling a little bit right 
right, so we can, he's got like a bit of a smile, and then it can go down towards the back of his face here. And to sort of make this line, so to make like this section of his face look like it's sitting on top of this section of his face, we're just going to make this line darker, okay? We're just going to make it heavier. So you could do this with your pencil, you know, you're, you're kind of just adding shade underneath here. Adding extra line weight. Nice. And what this does, it just gives this a shadow. So it, it actually makes it look like this shape is on top of this shape. Do a little bit on this side as well. So the picture I'm drawing from doesn't have a tone coming out, but I'm gonna put a tone here, right? When we have the well no, maybe I'll do it now. But like No, we'll do his jaw first. Sorry now. I'm such I'm trying to make up my mind what to do. So his jaw We'll have some like wrinkly sections here. And then it'll come down. Up like so. Just underneath. Right like this. So just like texture and things here. And then his neck kind of starts to come down here. Right. So he's got like a forked tongue. So I guess we'll just put it coming out of his mouth here, okay? Depending on how big we want to do it. I'm gonna make it like probably too big, but yeah, I think it should be pretty big, right? How's that look? Right, and they have like forks. Just here, and then like a line going up the middle. And you can just erase the line for his chin that we shouldn't see. Kind of like that, right? Like so. So then the side of his head will come up around this way, okay? So like the back of his head, or like where his skull meets his neck, right? So it like bumps around like so. And then it'll come across the top and meet his brow sort of this way. And then we got like lines and stuff coming around the back. And then, so after this, you can add like texture as much as you'd like. And it, usually we have like these bumps along the edge of his lip. So all coming around like so. Lots of these wrinkles going around. You can do as much of this as you want, right? Totally optional, of course, as well. All right, so we just keep adding sort of texture, sort of scales and circles and things as much as you want, really. Do, 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 do. And then some of those sort of lip lines down here as well. So just drawing in the textures and things that, you know, people will think that are sort of 
scales and things, you know, you're just making the illusion of wrinkles and stuff. So then the rest of the back of his neck comes out from his head. I will go down this way. So it's real long. Right, comes all the way down there. Right, we can just so we have to find this line real thick. And make it sort of stand out maybe from the rest. I might use an actual thicker sort of sharpie, a softer one. Just to make it thicker. So you know you've been using Sharpies too long when you have like them separated into categories of like soft and hard and <laughs> wasted, semi-wasted, fresh, you know. Kind of a thick line like that, right? And then same on this side, right? But his neck is kind of more bumpy and sort of wrinkly here. Right, like so. And you, again, you want to like, just we'll make this a thick line. So, and so what this does when you add, say like a thicker line is it makes it, well, like I said, it kind of makes it look like a shadow. So it's kind of a handy little trick. And then, so our Komodo dragon has like a real wrinkly neck, right? So it kind of comes down. Sort of this way. And so we've got these real thick wrinkles, right? One there, another one. And they get real sort of bumpy and wrinkly down here, like they kind of look like veins. Maybe they are veins. And we'll meet skin for his shoulder then here, which travels kind of all the way back this way. And then his arm comes out there. And then we just kind of, we kind of add a shadow to these. These sort of wrinkle lines, they're real dark. This way. So we're just thickening it up again. Just trying to make it look like it's got a bit of a shadow on it. <laughs> Alright, and then so more sort of wrinkle lines going vertically as well. So, like here, and coming up his head, around his back, like so. And you're just following that shape. Sort of these vertical kind of. his head, underneath his chin.
these circles kind of look like scales sometimes. And then lines like that. So adding all this texture and as much as you'd like, it's not sort of necessary to do it all. Just something like that. Dots and that kind of thing. I just sort of make this eyebrow maybe a little bit darker here and the top of his head a little bit darker. Just thickening up the line. <laughs> Okay. Right, so then his shoulder down here, right? So we've got like some skin lines for like his elbow or something here. Can we see his? His arm or something goes that way, and then some more sort of wrinkle lines and texture lines going around here, like the underbelly, and then like another foot or something there. So it just goes off my page. And then, so like to make him look sort of scaly on his arm, you kind of do these curved lines going across, these kind of texture lines. You're following the curvature of his arm, right, like that, sort of going across there. And then you want to add sort of lines going. Horizontal, it kind of gives the illusion of scale, scales, you know. that right and then sort of the main edge lines then you want to just darken them make them stand out then make them a little bit thicker Texture, some lighter lines just all in here. So, a mixture of thin lines and light lines, or thin lines, should I say, and dark lines, you know, is what makes it sort of stand out a little bit. Right, but I think I will leave it there. That is how to draw a Komodo dragon. Face, close up. Hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.